Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of His Turn, Her Turn. I'm Paul Bryan from WLS Radio in Chicago, along with... I am Lauren Fix, the car coach, and we are very excited to show you something very, very special. And you know what? One of the things we're not going to show them is that building, which is not the Alamo. (laughs) We're, <laughs> we are not in San Antonio. We're in cactus country. <laughs> we find ourselves in, uh, in Arizona, just outside of Phoenix, Arizona. And why is that significant? Why is it with this truck significant here? I don't know. Do you want me well, to tell you, or you want to? <laughs> I mean, you know, it, it's this is where Nissan's proving right. grounds have been for building this new, right. uh, this brand new truck. Right now, this vehicle is all U.S. Now, you would think a vehicle like this came out of Japan. No, it's designed in California. The interior designing was done here. Every single thing about it is here from the United States of America. So you cannot say this is a Japanese truck. This is a U.S. built truck inside and out. And, and let me tell you, this is about as by God a pickup truck as you're going to find. If you're yeah. looking at half ton trucks, there's a lot of vehicles. Once you narrow that down to that three quarter ton truck category, it really limits your options. So what if that's too much truck and, and a half ton's just not enough? Well, that white space is where the Titan XD fits in and it's pretty impressive and it does a great job and there's no competition that actually does what this truck does. Yeah, it's really filling that spot very, yeah. very well. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about the engine. We'll talk about underneath. Uh, every, everything underneath and everything inside. They've done a hell of a job here on this truck, and we're going to show it to you here on His Turn, Her Turn. So we are literally underneath the new Titan XD. Uh, yeah, we have. And, and this is good, I thought. And it, you know how weird my mind works. But I it's said this, this is how Nissan has elevated this entire segment that we're talking about right. we, we touched on it a bit in the opening right there's there's this gaposis that occurs between a half ton and a three-quarter ton from the styling standpoint from the truck capability from uh the chassis itself which right. we'll show you which is a in, real chassis in, in detail i mean it's a real box chassis i mean this is a really tough truck you're looking yeah. at a base model of the s you go to the sv which is going to you know have more options to it and you're going to go pro 4x if you're serious this is a real off-road truck and then of course my you got your country mouse and your city mouse i like the city mouse i oh, know <laughs> I do too. I like the, but I the, think the that reserve. somebody. It's I sort think of like a beautiful bottle of wine. It has all the goodies. And somebody, that's what I like. somebody that's going to be towing their boat mm-hmm. or their, uh, it's it's perfectly set up for a gooseneck. Snowmobiles, off-road equipment, all of that stuff. They're still going to want of all of the trappings mm-hmm. of a luxury vehicle, the and this trappings. is going to. That sounds like a hunter's vehicle. <laughs> You know what I meant, didn't you? Yeah, but so. you know, you look underneath this, you're not, you can see every single component. You can see that it's not covered with plastic. There's nothing extra on this. Underneath, this is a real truck through and through. And if you're a truck person, you know exactly what I'm talking about. This truck is meant to do the job, and it's very, very capable. One of the things that I like about this truck is its capability of storage. <laughs> and here's Lauren yeah, play, playing Vanna White here with the ATV. So I will be taking this the, back with me. The the ramps like make it really road. really easy. I, the thing that I liked about the the pickup bed was the embedded rails as well, so that you could tie down uh, cycles, ATVs, snowmobiles, whatever it might be in the right. back. But there are a lot of uh, I don't want to use Easter eggs because uh, everybody uses there's that. There's a lot of so. hidden storage. We'll just be keep it. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of Waldo little, little uh, pieces of surprises, like in a Cracker Jack box that you yeah. can find, where some real thought has gone into not only the capacity that it has, but where it occurs as well. Right. Little hidden places on the side where you could get to your gloves. That where you don't want to put them inside. And also the lighting on the inside as LED well. LED lighting, that's great. Tailgate lighting. Also the, the dampening of the tailgate. There's nothing worse than if you've ever done this in a tailgate, take it down, it comes down on you. They're pretty heavy. But to have it dampened is, is really a plus as well. And lockable, of course. But they've done bed liner, standard spray on bed liner. That, of course, Nissan well, they were, the, they were the first in the industry with that. And the way that those channels are laid in the back of the truck as well are set up perfectly for being able to put skid, skids in there and, right. and get access to it with a big forklift. And it makes it, uh, proves its capability and its ability. I think if you're owning a, a three-quarter ton truck or a half ton truck or this Titan that's in that sweet spot in between, you're going to be using it as a truck. You're not just going to take it to the grocery store. Yeah. All right. Let's take a look at the inside. We'll do some driving impressions as well. We'll right. do that and, and carry on with our, our look at the new Nissan Titan XD. XD. 
So we've been driving the new 2016 Nissan Titan XD. Yes, to the XD. Uh, the only thing I wish it had is blind spot detection and active cruise control. Uh, blind spot detection is coming in 2017. The around view camera is fantastic. Rockford Fosgate audio system is fantastic. Uh, of course, it's got navigation on it, and that navigation screen is really easy to use. It's very simple. It's, it's not your more complicated uh, version. Uh, in addition, the gauges are easy to use. Uh, we're getting okay fuel economy. I mean, it's better than a, a gasoline powered somewhere around 16, but we've been doing a lot of stop and go, and I'm sure you can do better than that on your own. I have a lot of truck experience. We own trucks. We haul things. This thing has every single compat compatibility, capability, durability you can imagine. I think the only thing I would, like I say, is just those few minor things, but watch out for GM and Chrysler or Ram trucks. This is now a player in the segment, and it's a player that's in a huge, huge segment that is untapped. So let's see what happens when the sales numbers come out when this thing hits the dealerships at the end of the year. There's an awful lot to like about the interior of the new Nissan Titan XD. Uh, especially when you get into the higher levels. I mean, you've got all of the different gradients of the truck that they're making. But as you get into the higher levels in, in uh here in the Platinum Reserve model is the one that we're in right now. This is just as luxurious an interior for a truck as you're going to find. Uh, I'd encourage you to, to find out which one really makes sense for you, but go in and take a look. Some are going to be a little more Spartan, some are going to be uh, luxurious. You're going to see cues in here that, uh, that you would normally see in luxury grade cars. You know, contrasting stitching, uh, soft touches, uh, of, of the controls are very, very easy to, to grasp, easy to understand. The nav system is, is quite intuitive. I like that. The power bulge on the, on the hood here for the big diesel engine, uh, I, I think it just makes a great statement for this. This is a really, really nice car. Let's talk about some of the connectivity. There are enough places to plug stuff into here, uh, including a, a mixer on the the back there for making margaritas or whatever you're going to do at a, at a tailgate. No drinking and driving. Who knows more about the towing capability than Ken Paul on this thing? And rather than us trying to figure this thing out, why don't we go ahead and enlist your help on this? Absolutely. What we've done is just try to simplify an age-old pain in the behind of getting trucks backed up and connecting and having wives or friends shouting left, right, more, back, forward. And improved stop. camera yeah. Yeah. yeah and stop improved camera view so when you're backing up now we have a center line that's actually going to give you intended path and there's a nice bright blue line with exact zero backward path so everybody who's been on here demoing this has had a perfect trailer backup the first time not the third fourth or fifth time that's impressive alone right and the screen now we have a full uh, exposed view an oversized view as a third option screen when you're backing up so that makes it easier yet but the real magic is the trailer light check it's a single person it is cool fob. it's very very cool explain, yeah. explain this so literally when you're hooked up here you go stand back by the trailer two buttons on your key fob starts a little soft muted horn and it tells you the system's running it does a left blank check a right blank check a full light brake light and then another soft horn telling you you're hooked up you're safe one person key fob done in the truck and off on your trip so it does it for the truck as well right yes if you wanted to do a safety check on your truck just as your vehicle because you know we all forget but dad and grandpa taught us check your lights check your air pressure well you can stand behind your vehicle now behind your titan do that light check see your blankers see your brakes know that your pickup truck is safe Thank you so much for joining us here from Arizona. This is our uh, look at the Titan XD. We like your comments. Just make sure that you post them down here on the bottom and subscribe if you would. Subscribe up there. Hit that button. Absolutely. On Saturday mornings, you can find me on WLS AM radio in Chicago. If you go to WLSAM.com, I also tweet at the Paul Bryan. You can find me on Facebook, and, and you're all over, too. And he's the, not just any Paul Bryan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Lauren Fix, the car coach. You can find me at LaurenFix.com. I'm also on Newsmax TV, Parade Magazine, USA Radio, all kinds of stuff, but all on one location at LaurenFix.com. Follow me on Twitter, at Lauren Fix. Please comment below. Please subscribe. And, hey, we're over 7 million views by the time we're recording this. That's crazy numbers. We need to get Visine to sponsor us. <laughs> that would be good. Yeah, really. All your bloodshot eyes out there watching us. That's but but uh, tell your friends and neighbors your we yes. appreciate it. And we'll see you from where we wind up next. Yes, thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye-bye.